Hi guys, welcome back to my Kerbal Space Program version 1 release um, career mode guide. So, this is episode 3. On episode 1 and 2, we built our first rockets and accrued our first science. So now, if you haven't taken a look at those videos, please do take a look. Um, right now, we are in the process of building our third ship. So, as you can see, we've got a aerodynamic nose cone, small nose cone. We've got our cockpit. We've got a small science lab, which is the science junior there. We've got some liquid fuel tanks. I've got five of them here. Some mystery goo on the side. Four parachutes, because I'm going to land this whole thing apart from this bottom part. We've got the liquid fuel engine, a decoupler, which you can find over here on the left um, in structural. And we've also got the solid fuel booster, which is there, the hammer solid fuel booster. So without further ado, let's go ahead and launch. Hopefully this is of some help to you guys. And uh, if, if it is of some like, please leave me a thumbs up. It's very helpful and uh, awesome as I'm trying to grow a big community. And let me know if you've got any comments. So basically at the beginning, you want to press T to engage your SAS. Then you want to just leave your throttle, use the control and the shift keys. Just kind of leave it in the middle, or a bit less, and then press space. We've set our stages, so the solid fuel booster is going to go first, then that's going to decouple, then we'll have the liquid fuel booster, and finally, the final stage will be the parachutes. And all you need to do really to activate each one of these is press space now. So here we go, we're just going to aim for straight up. If you can see from our altitude record and everything, um, we haven't actually got any contracts right now, so let's go ahead and revert to no let's go back to the space center and get some contracts now the reason contracts are important is because that way you get money so let's make sure we go in the right part we're obviously going in the wrong part ignore me for being such a noob <laughs> but at this stage uh, it doesn't really matter too much so w there's our research let's take a quick look at that so we've got 17 and a half research points general rocketry i guess is the next one we want to aim for which is 20 uh, also, it would be helpful to get flight control, which allows your rocket to be more controllable. So that's 45 science points you, you can see there. So let's leave here and go and find the research, the um, contracts part. So here we can see escape the atmosphere is a good one. So all we need to do to achieve that is to breach the atmosphere by flying a vessel to an altitude of 70,000 meters to achieve this goal. So let's go ahead and tick that. Now to orbit Kerbin, I don't think we have the rocket just yet for that, so I'm going to leave that one. Close this, and let's go ahead and finally proceed to launch our rocket and get those research points. Let's load that one we saved earlier and go to launch. Clear the launch pad and proceed. Alright, are you ready for this, ladies and gentlemen? Can we achieve this? I don't want it to flop over or anything, so remember, press T. No, there's no SAS modules, so no pilots aboard. Cannot engage SAS. All right, no problem. So we're going to go ahead and just press space. Obviously, T won't work. And hopefully, our rocket's just going to go straight up. Now, we can see here our, on the top right, which is our contract. So breach the atmosphere by flying a vessel to an altitude of 70,000 meters. That's basically what we're going for. All right, let's press space. Press space again. And now our rocket will gradually start to speed up again. But here it goes. It's starting to tilt over. Now, this is one of the problems early on in the game where we've got no um, SAS or anything to control our rocket. So basically, all we can really do is try again. Now, I have achieved this um, flight, getting up into the atmosphere, with just this build. So let's see if we can get there. You just have to be really careful. Last time I did this, we had SAS. So I'm not really sure why we haven't got SAS, but now we're flying straight up. So let's go ahead and engage our rockets. I don't think we're going to be very successful this time. Let's go ahead and observe our materials bay. We get 3.8 science. That's good enough. We can, we can achieve something here. Whether we achieve what we want or not is not really the point, I guess. We're going to get 3.7 science, which will take us to over um, 20 uh, science points, which we need for our next unlock. So that's all we really need. So let's go ahead and try and control this bad boy, get some speed out of it, get some height. We're at 4,000 meters. It's just too wobbly right now. So I'm going to go ahead, press escape, revert flight to launch. I'm not quite sure why it wobbled over, so let's have another go. So this is a good way of uh, of just 
forgetting basically the previous part of what we did and just uh, starting again. So I'm going to leave the throttle a bit lower this time. And hopefully that will enable us to fly straight up without any wobble or anything. Come on, Bill, you've got this. Come on, no need to start wobbling. No need to start wobbling. Don't top, don't topple over. All right, let's engage our new burner. And it's starting to wobble already, but I'm controlling it with the WASD keys, guys. Remember, that's how you control your plane. Or your rocket, sorry. All right, I'm just having to be really careful here. Using my thrusters really slowly. I think once you get a bit further up into the atmosphere, gravity's effect is less, and so your rocket doesn't tip over or anything. But I'm going to try my best just to control it. Keep your rocket centered on that bit there. Um, there it goes. It's starting to spin out of control. All right, so now that's being the case, all I'm going to do is just let that settle. World first altitude record of 11.5 kilometers. So I'm just going to let that settle. Try and maneuver it with the WASD keys back to this spot so it's looking like it's going straight up again. It's losing speed. All right, let's just go really slowly. And all we're aiming for basically is just to try and get as high as we can because then we can get some much needed research points. So let's go ahead and observe a mystery goo. Get 1.6. Let's keep that as it is. I really want to get higher in the atmosphere though so I can get some hefty research points. So I'm just doing this really carefully with the speed of the rocket, managing it. Now it's going straight up. So we've wasted a lot of fuel stabilizing ourselves, but we're going straight up again. So hopefully we can get some much needed science points. That's the aim of the game, guys. You just want a, a, as, as efficient a rocket as possible in order to get as many research points as possible and complete as many contracts as possible. And that way, you can go on to the bigger and better missions with plenty of money to waste and all is good. So let's observe the m materials bay now. We get 3.8 science for that. Let's just leave that. I think we can get higher. Right, let's increase our throttle just a little bit. Continuing to go up in the air. 19 kilometers achieved. Can we add a bit more throttle? We can. All right, when we get to our highest point, that's when I'm going to perform some science. All right, we've achieved a world record speed of 450 meters per second. So that's as high as we can get. We get 22 and a half science now. Awesome. So let's keep that data. Looks like our rocket's out of control. We get four and a half science from this guy. Awesome. And let's zoom in a little bit. Find our other mystery goo. There he is. Observe that. And we get another nine science. So there we go. So it was worthwhile, guys, persevering. Although, what you're going to see now is us plummeting to our doom, but hopefully it won't be too scary and we can uh, land safely with all these four parachutes on the side. And the four parachutes, I think, are necessary. One, for stability of the rocket, and two, for um, landing such a heavy thing, a uh, heavy rocket on the ground safely. If you just have one parachute, the weight of this thing will make it crash, I think, so... All I've done now is speed up the camera, basically, guys, uh, using the full stop and comma keys. Full stop it speeds it up. The comma key slows it down, as I've explained previously. Now, we're going quite low now. So what I'm going to do is engage my parachutes in a minute before we get to the ground. There we go. We've got four parachutes up in the air. Beautiful. Let's zoom out a bit. Watch it in all its glory. Don't worry, Bill. We're going to save you. Now, if you kill your Kerbals, I think you're going to have the expense of by or hiring new Kerbals. So always try to bring them down safely. Or if not, leave them in space, ready for a recovery mission later on in your career. So let's just speed this up. Doubly jubbly. Should land safely now. I think I've done all the science I can. We couldn't do an EVA. Review report, 4.5 science. Lovely. So let's keep that data. And there we go. We've landed. Look at that. Upright as well. Brilliant. So now all we have to do is press escape. Go back to the space center. Make sure you don't press revert flight because otherwise um, you'll basically need to do that whole thing again. Okay, now we go to the recovery and tracking station. Click on our rocket, recover, and you can see we've got 37.6 science earned. And uh, we press next, and it tells you the the funds we're getting from recovered parts. So we've managed to refund 6,637, and Bill Kerman has gained one XP. Whoop whoop! So let's press escape here. Go to our um research tree and see what we can unlock so we now i've got over 50 so we could potentially get flight control which would be very handy the inline reaction wheel is really good for steering your rocket 
I think that's going to have to, we're going to have to buy that one. Let's research that. All right, guys. So that is that. And thank you for watching. Hopefully the next video we'll be bringing you will be escaping the atmosphere and um, going into outer space trying to achieve an orbit. Um, thanks for watching. Please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. Bye-bye.